everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com where my goal is to provide you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this video, we're going to look at skin tone inside of Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on my website. In last week's video, we looked at this photo and added the graduated filter in order to enhance the sun on the right side of the image. Here's the before and there's the after. And in this video, we're going to tackle a few remaining issues with this photograph. The first thing I'm gonna do is decrease the saturation in the grass using the targeted adjustment tool located in the HSL sliders. I'm going to make sure that I have saturation selected. I'm going to grab this tool, come over to the grass, click and drag down in order to desaturate the yellow in the green in the grass because sometimes in the spring it tends to look fluorescent inside of digital capture and I just like to make that less obvious. I'm going to click to drop that tool and then I'm going to press K in order to access the adjustment brush. Now I'm not sure exactly what I want these settings to be but my goal is to improve the color and the tonality of her legs because we warmed up her face and we added light Now her skin tone on her face does not match the skin tone on her legs and it's very obvious now that we've described that. So because I'm not sure exactly which sliders I'm going to use I think what I'll do is just turn on auto mask and I'll reset the exposure by double clicking the slider and reset the shadows the same way. And then I'm going to press O on my keyboard in order to see my mask overlay. I'm going to make my brush smaller with my left bracket. Feather does not matter because I actually have auto mask turned on in order to constrain these adjustments and I'm going to brush over her leg. I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller again with the left bracket key and what I'm doing is brushing over her leg in order to make a selection so that I can impact the tone and color. Auto mask is what's keeping that constrained but if you do make a mistake and go outside of the leg all you need to do is press alt or option on your keyboard and you can minus that back out. Now that I have a good selection, I'm going to press O in order to hide that overlay and H in order to hide the pin. Now what I'm thinking is I need to add a little bit of light to her legs. They're kind of underexposed, so I'm going to pull up on the exposure and the shadows. They're also the wrong color. Let's see if we can correct that by just pulling up on the temperature and see if that helps. And if we take it too far, obviously it looks a little bit too yellow, but I think what you can do is manage the temperature in order to get the right color. Now I will say this, if you're not able to use the temperature or the tint, to correct the color tone, what you can do is come into this color box and add the color tone that you wish to appear. So I could click about in that area for yellow and I could close the color box and then bring the temperature back down. And let's turn this off and on. And we're seeing a major improvement. I see a couple of integrity issues. So what I'm gonna do is use Command Plus, that's Control Plus on the PC in order to zoom in. And I see some areas right along the grass line here that aren't looking really good. So I'll just brush those in. Command or Control minus to zoom back out. But there's a few other things going on here. I think what I would like to do is pull down on the clarity a little bit as well as the sharpening in order to just make that skin peer a little bit softer. I'm going to pull up on the shadows, maybe up on the blacks a little bit, down on the contrast. And as I'm doing this, I'm deciding that I, I don't like this color. So I'm just going to take that saturation to zero and close that box and fix the color in her legs by adding warmth via the temperature. I just liked the way that looked a little bit better. That's a personal preference. Let's go ahead and look at this before and after of just her legs. That looks pretty good, but now as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, oh, maybe her hand could benefit from this as well. So I'm gonna brush over her hand and just see what it looks like. I had not done this in her photograph, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this or not or if I need to do it maybe on a separate pin so it's not as harsh, and the answer to that is yes. So I'm going to undo that with a Command or Control Z, and I'm gonna leave that hand alone for the time being. But just looking at her legs, I think that that looks pretty good. If you do wanna correct the hand, what you would need to do is click New in order to grab a new adjustment brush. Again, I'm gonna press O just so I can see my overlay. And brush over to select her hand, and we'll just make a few adjustments to her hand so it looks a little bit better. I just felt that the adjustments we made to her legs didn't match her hand, so 
O in order to hide that overlay. And I think really all we need to do with our hand is lighten it just a little bit and warm it up. I'm gonna drop the adjustment brush by pressing K on my keyboard. And let's go ahead and look at the overall before and after. I think this looks pretty good. I may have taken it a little bit far on her legs and I've made a lot of targeted adjustments here. And as you can see from my basic panel, I really haven't done anything to the overall exposure of the photo. So you could certainly decide if you wanna make this a little bit brighter. And I do like these images to be pretty bright and maybe pull down a little bit on the vibrance just to make it a little bit more neutral. Let's go ahead and look at that overall before and after. I hope you found this quick little video series to be useful. I'll see you in the next video.